Welcome to the class of Geography Children. In Unit 1, we have learnt about the area, the location, the political divisions and some of the important cities of South America. In this unit, we are going to learn about the physical features. There are four physical features. They are the West Coastal Plains, the Andes Mountains, the Central Plains and the Eastern Highlands. The West Coastal Plains are narrow plains lying between the Andes and the Pacific Ocean in the western part of the continent. This coastal plain extends along the entire length of the continent and its width varies in Peru where it is widest. The width is 80 kilometers while elsewhere it varies between 10 to 15 kilometers. The hot Atacama Desert lies along the coastal region across the Tropic of Capricorn in North Chile. The Atacama Desert located in the high Andes in Chile is a cold place that receives little precipitation. Few people live here. The Atacama is a relatively small desert that is only 100 miles 161 kilometers wide and 625 miles that is 1006 kilometers long. When the warm winds from the Pacific blow across the Atacama Desert, the area becomes blanketed in fog. The next physical division is the Andes Mountains. The Andes Mountains are a long stretch of high young fold mountains that run parallel to the Pacific coast in the western part of South America. They are not one mountain range but several parallel ranges with basins and plateaus between them. The length of the Andes Mountains is somewhere around 7,242 kilometers. There are a number of lofty peaks in the Andes Mountains. The highest peak being Mount Aconcagua, this is around 6,962 meters. Some high peaks remain snow covered despite being near the equator. Because of the great height, these mountains are very difficult to cross. Hence, people use mountain passes here. A mountain pass is a road connecting one range to the another range. Trans-Andean Railway Network is one of the important net railway system here connecting Argentina and Chile. The Central Lowlands, as the name suggests, these are located between the Andes in the West and the Eastern Highlands. The plains are formed by rivers Amazon, Orinoco, Parana, Paraguay and Uruguay rivers. The Parana, Paraguay and Uruguay collectively form the La Plata river system. In the north, the Orinoco plains are referred to as Llanos, which means plains in Spanish. South of the Llanos, the Amazon lowlands are called the Selvas. It is a region of dense equatorial forest. Further south, the temperate grassy plains of Argentina are called the Pampas. The Parana Paraguay lowlands include the Gran Chaco, a vast alluvial region which is not drained well and becomes marshy during the rainy season. The next physical division is the Eastern Highlands. The Guana Highlands and the Brazilian Highlands form the Eastern Highlands. These two highlands are separated by the Amazon River. These highlands extend in the eastern part of the continent along the Atlantic coast. The Eastern Highlands rise steeply in the east from the Atlantic Ocean or Atlantic coast and are gentler in the west. 
where they slope towards the central plane. They are much lower in height compared to the Andes. Unlike the young, fold, young Andes mountains, the eastern highlands are composed of old hard rock. In the region between 40 degrees south and 50 degrees south in Argentina lies a cold desert called the Patagonia Desert. So this was all about the four physical divisions of South America. Moving on to the river system of South America. The Orinoco River which is 2400 km long flows from the Guana Highlands towards the Atlantic Ocean in Venezuela. The Amazon River which is 6400 km long rises to the Andes in the Andes mountains and flows eastwards across the widest part of the continent. It is fed by thousands of tributaries that join it and it and by daily heavy equatorial showers. The La Plata river system is formed by Parana, Paraguay and Uruguay rivers. These rivers flow southwards and drain into the South Atlantic Ocean in a wide estuary in Argentina which provides an excellent harbour. The Angel Falls which is all around 979 meters in height is the world's highest waterfall which is formed by a tributary of the river Orinoco. So this was all about the river system of South America. Thank you. Have a nice day children.